Hey guys, so uh, today I'm going to be sh teaching you how to animate. So first we need our rig, our little person to animate on. So we're going to go to plugins and build rig. You can get a rig from the toolbox or you can use one you already have. Um, yeah, so I'm going to create an R16, R15 block rig. So here's our little person. Next you want to go to plugins and animation editor. Everybody should already have this. Uh, yeah, it kind of comes with the studio. If you don't, then go to the website and download the animation editor from the plugins page. But everybody should have this. So you click the animation editor and then you click the rig that you wanna that you wanna animate. So I'm just gonna name this animation. You can name it whatever you want. Alright. So now let's we we do whatever we want. So we can rotate, we can rotate the leg. We can um, we can move it. Let's go to tools, move like this. So let's say we want it to add. In, this is the timeline. So let's say we just want it to wave. So we start just by moving the arm up a little bit. This might not look like the best wave animation. Move up a little bit. And let's bend the arm a little bit like that. So it'll so we go back to the beginning, and we press play. It'll do that. Um, yeah, we should probably make it a little faster. So you click to make it faster, or slower. You click the white, uh, the white dot, and drag it farther to the beginning or to the end. Uh, end to do it uh, to make it faster. Uh, I mean slower and beginning to make it much faster. So I lost my little dot. There we go. So I'm just gonna leave it right there. So it'll do it really fast. Now, let's let's just keep going. So we click the timeline right here and go up a little bit more. This to right here. And let's say, let's, let's make the arm, the other arm also move a little bit. Just make it move this way. So I'm not the best animator, but you can do whatever you want with this. Um, yeah. So then I'm gonna go to the next next little frame, and right here. So the arm will be right here. So this is what it looks like currently. You just click this button to play it. Um, maybe we should make it not bent. So right here, I want to make it. I want to make it to go out a little bit more, and let's make it go up too, just like this. So we'll make the arm detach, <laughs> yeah. but then we just move, we just basically, we go here, rotate it a little bit, this, here, a little more, here, this, and then, yeah, we can just we can take this and just paste it along. So I'm going to copy all of these. Copy selected. And I'm going to paste them right here. Paste keyframes. And one more time. Paste keyframes. Alright, so this should make it wave about three times. So again, to run it, we just go, we just start by going to the uh, beginning. Clicking run. And that's what it looks like. It's a little, it's a little not really good. And then, uh, well, after that, yeah, it's not really that good. It's just a, it's just a simple animation. I'm not a really good animator, but yeah. So then, let's say we want it, we want the rig, uh, yeah, we want the rig to go. The, let's say we want the rig to mm, to do a backflip. Alright, so, yeah, go to the next part in the timeline. If the timeline's, like, a little stuck like this, which, um, yeah, if the timeline gets stuck, you kind of have to, like, drag this out. It's weird, but, yeah. So, I'm just going to keep doing this. Alright, um, yeah, let's, let's make the thing, let's make the thing right here. Actually, yeah, I'm not going to make it backflip. I'm just going to make it arm go right back down to where it's supposed to be. So, let's start by... Let's just move it back this way. 
right there. All right, here, you know what? All right, if you want the thing to reset, just press right click and put add reset keyframe here. So when you go here, it'll be all reset. So if we were to run it, let me just go back to the beginning and run it really quick. So not the best way of animation, but it's all right. As, as I said before, I'm not a really good animator. So that's that's basically how you animate it. But now let's say we want to play it in game. So if we go here, we would need to export it. Name the animation whatever you want. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna submit just as animation. Now we need the uh, we would need the ID. So come on. All right. So let's get the ID really quick. Copy the ID and press the X button. All right. So next, now that we have the ID copied, we would insert a script into the dummy. And we need we need to put in it, the animation in it. So we would put in animation, just like this. And for the animation ID, we would just paste the ID, and it would automatically boot do Roblox ID asset ID. Mm -hmm. All right. So next, we would do local animation, or you can do whatever this is, or I didn't, I wasn't typing, is equal to. So name that whatever you want, it's just a variable, so you're going to be using it later. Animation is equal to, alright, so now you need to get the humanoid of the thing you want to play the animation on. So do I'm going to do script.parent.humanoid which basically goes from the script to the parent, which is the dummy. If you want to know the parent of a script, just go to parent, to go to, go to properties, parent, dummy. So next, we go to dot humanoid, so it'll get the humanoid, and then we do um, semicolon or colon, load animation. And then we would need the animation, so we would do script dot animation. All right, script dot animation. So next, what we would do is just we would need to play the animation. So let's say let's do a while true loop, true do. So while true do, it's gonna wait. Let's do five seconds, and then it's gonna play the animation. So do animation, animation, yes, colon play. Should be a capital play. All right. So this will base this script will make the animation play every five seconds. Also, one more thing, uh, the animation has to be published on your account, or or it has to be on sale for you to actually use it. I don't know why Roblox does it that way, because you can't put it on sale unless you have premium, which is really strange. But that's how they do it, I guess. So yeah, um, we would do animation script dot animation uh, while true do wait five animation so let's play if you wanted to stop the animation you could do animation animation semicolon pause or animation colon stop like that all right so this now if we were to run the game so i'm just gonna run it really quick every five seconds it should play our little animation Give it a second. It's a little, yeah. So it played our animation once. It's gonna play it again, as you can see. So it just keeps playing the animation just like that. And uh, I don't have any other scripts in it. This is the only script I have right here. Um, here nothing. This is just uh, if you leave an animation, it'll save it in the dummy that you that you used it on. So you can do this in whatever you can you can add the animation to yeah whatever. So so yeah I'm just gonna stop it. That's basically how you animate. Um, really simple animation. Find the humanoid humanoid of the character that you want to play the animation on, and just do load animation and the animation instance, which is this. All right. 
All right. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, have a good day. I hope you, yeah, yeah wash your hands, I guess. Uh, have a good day. Thank you for watching. Uh, see ya. Bye.